Hello all, James here again from James's Hamatone and I wanted to follow on from a video that I put out recently um, regarding ground connections to your pot casings. So on that on that video I featured kind of trusted methods that I use to help make the process easier, so preparing the pot casing, uh, soldering iron techniques or um, temperature settings etc and then also various methods of why we might need to solder a pot casing so whether it's um, grounding a volume pot, so doing that by bending the lug back or using a little jumper wire, attaching pickup wires or signal wires from a switch etc, a braided wire or individual wires so hopefully that video helped but I wanted to spotlight one in a separate video because uh, it's a its own product, its own thing and I, I figured it needed featured, featuring separately but it covers the sand ground um, no pun intended um, so this is the ground bug by Swannel Guitars, so if I can pick one up so this this little ladybird looking thing which is wicked is uh, it's been developed by Jamie at Swannel Guitars who's an awesome luthier guitar maker in the UK um, really really talented acoustic and electric guitar maker and he's developed this from his years of doing repairs and things that he just figured it'll be just one of those no-brainer kind of useful things that um don't know why it's not been around before but uh, had the chance to just um put the idea into motion and make it into an actual thing so here we are this is the swannel guitars ground bug um so what is it basically it will mount between your pot casing and your pit guard the body etc it sits right flush against the pot um, the pot case in itself uh, as you mount it up so as displayed here I've got the pot mounted through a little template board so the pot's going straight through the ground bug and fire a star washer onto the board um, and yeah what this will do is provide you with various points and lugs that you can make your various ground connections to so um, I think there's a number of advantages to this I don't think it just comes down to um, being beneficial for those that struggle with ground connections to the pot casing but ultimately it is a huge help for that because it's something you'll never need to worry about again really um, but I think it's just maintenance wise I think it's going to be really really useful so pot changes pickup changes any any little changes over time like that will be that slightly bit easier and faster um, more efficient um, and just easier overall really um, I guess it's preventing possible damage to the, the pots through excessive heat um, so if you are worried about that's one main worry of yours is um, when doing your, your ground connections to the case and is overheating the pot and causing any damage that won't be an issue with the ground bug and then also one I'll touch on in a moment is the how I think it's beneficial for things like the CTS push-pull pots so yeah so this little washer sits between the pot casing and your pit guard body etc and can provide you with multiple points where you can make your ground lug connections so these are just simple bendable lugs so you can bend them into position for where you want them to be you can snip them off if you don't need quite as many as what's on here so you've got three either side and two at the the rear side um, you could snip those off if they're if say for example there's a cavity wall running right the way up to the the pot casing edge and you haven't got the space for those you can trim them off really easily uh, with just some regular snips will do the job there um, or bend them up with your pliers or fingers um, bend it into position and then you can make some wire connections like I've shown some examples here I'll, I'll solder a wire on as well just to show you how easy the solder flows onto these lugs um, if it's a volume pot for example you can use that as a way of grounding your ground lug on the volume pot so here you can see I've bent one of the ground bugs lugs up um, and then sold a little jumper wire from there to the lug on the pot and that's nice and simply done um, so again I haven't I've been able to ground the volume pot lug without soldering the pot casing so it was super quick and easy um, so yeah this one this wire example might be the wire coming from your pickup it might be a wire coming from your bridge to ground the strings etc uh, the metal hardware so that's really really simple I'll just display before I forget the um, kind of efficiency of the um, continuity through there so if I just place one of the probes on the casing and then just onto the lug as you can see right the way around nice continuity throughout so we know that any of those lugs are perfect to use for any ground connection um, yeah so let's just do a little example one um, 
So there I've showed what it looks like normal, that, so that's just how the lugs come on the washer. And then we've got a pre-tinned one and I've got a wired one. You can pre-tin it if you want to, just want, want to um, prepare the lug. It's always good to pre-tin really, but I must admit the solder flows so easily on these um, on the material used that it's not an issue at all, but it transfers heat really well, but let's display it properly with a bit of pre-tinning. So I'll flow some solder around the lug, just a pre-tin. And I'm going to just grab some gavit wire here. And I can just place that into the lug. Just use that to keep the wire still. Place the iron tip onto the joint to heat the joint. And then flow some solder. There we go, simple as that, ground connection made. So uh, I'll just trim that so it doesn't get in my way. So yeah, any of those could be your, any of your ground connections, and that's good to go. And as I say, you can bend that right up should you wish to, to keep that tucked out of the way. I mean, it doesn't take up too much real estate, really, when you look at that. Um, so yes, you can have them flat um, if you wish. Um, but you can bend them up and keep them tucked out of the way if you've got a tighter cavity, which most guitars are, understandably. Um, so yeah, I mean, this would be great for, um, you can use it, so a Strat, let's say a Strat, for example, with three pots, one volume, two tones, you can put one of these washers on each of the pots and put the ground wire between the, each of the washers um, to save doing anything to your pot casing so it keeps all those clear. Then if you do need to ever change a pot in the future, you haven't got to desolder loads off the pot casing to do it. Same again, you could solder a capacitor to it if you want, so um, yeah, same again. Bend a lug up, you can just solder one, one end through there, one end to the lug on the pot. Again, no need to solder the pot casing, so there's so many uses, really, really neat. Um, touching on the um, CTS push-pull pot I mentioned, the reason I wanted to mention these in particular is because obviously you've got this huge plastic housing on the back of these pots um, with not much metal casing to work with for ground connections when you need to make those. So even for someone that's doing it every day, you might find them a bit infuriating to use. Um, making it onto that side wall, like trying to keep the wire still onto that, even if you've prepped, pre-tinned, etc. It might be tricky to do. So to make that more accessible, I think the ground bug's going to be so useful because um, you can make those various connections to there. So that's a wicked use. So yeah, that's the uh, ground bug by Swan All Guitars. Really, really neat little simple item that I think is going to help a lot of people out, whether that's um, DIY modders, um, making your own changes and tweaks and modifications to your guitars, repairs, etc. And it's going to be useful for the, the pro techs and luthiers, etc. that... Um, are doing this every day professionally I think it's just gonna find itself very useful for lots of us um, but yeah particularly if you truly hate making ground connections to pot casings I'm sure the ground bug will be uh, music to your ears so thanks for watching and thanks to Swan All Guitars for uh, making this wicked little item and um, yeah if you're interested in these there's lots of information on my website about them and you can order them via my website or contact Swan All Guitars direct who will be selling them directly as well so thanks all here at James's Hermitone, we're passionate about guitars, traditional and unique, and we proudly represent the brands that share our ethos of getting the most out of your own guitars. Our online shop is a curated collection of accessories, electronics and parts, pickups and of course guitars, with an easy to use checkout as well as convenient shipping methods which are available across the UK, Europe and selected countries worldwide. The shop is a culmination of a lifetime's obsession with the guitar and we hope that your visit provides a sense of that through the quality products we offer, as well as the unique nature of the brands that we proudly represent. Check out the website at www.homeoftone.co.uk and I hope you enjoy your visit. Thanks for watching this video here on our channel, and if you did, it'd be great if you could click the like and subscribe buttons too. We really appreciate your support. Thank you very much.